I remember the very first time I booted up Breath of the Wild. I was still relatively new to Zelda games, because the only one I've played prior to that would be A Link to the Past. So I pretty much came to Breath of the Wild with no expectations. And I remember the very first time I was climbing down the tower and heard the music and just stood there in awe. And I remember the very first time I decided to storm a Calvin camp and worried about my strategy and what I should do. And I remember the very first time I jumped off the Great Plateau. And after that, I kind of took a two year long break from the game. During that time, I played the remake of Link's Awakening, Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, and Skyward Sword. Then I went back and I finished Breath of the Wild, and I realized how different Breath of the Wild is compared to all the other Zelda games. It has the same roots, but they went on completely different paths. So I'm going to talk about what Breath of the Wild brought to the table and should it stay this way in the Zelda series, or should it change? One of the things they changed in Breath of the Wild was the music. Zelda games are known to have very loud, triumphant, iconic Zelda themes, but Breath of the Wild changed this. With the piano taking center stage, they played very subtle, quiet notes that matched the theme of being in the wilderness. And that's not to say that this is completely new to the Zelda series. I mean, listen to Dodongo's Cavern. But it's never been done to this extent. And don't get me wrong, it's not like Breath of the Wild doesn't have any loud, triumphant themes. I mean, listen to Hyrule Castle's theme, or the Champion songs, and even the more subtle songs, like the Tower theme, still amazing. The question is, should Zelda games go forward using this more subtle music, or should they go back to what they used to do? Well, I think, like many other things about the future of Zelda, that it needs to have a good balance. Take Skyward Sword and Breath of the Wild, for example. Skyward Sword was too linear and had very heavy storytelling, as opposed to Breath of the Wild, which wasn't at all linear and it was didn't really have that much storytelling. The same thing could be said about the music. The Zelda series needs to find a way to keep the triumphant themes that we all love, but at the same time, keep some of the more subtle, quiet themes. Find a good balance. In cutscenes, give me music that it has like its own theme and is catchy, but at the same time doesn't distract the player from what's already going on. In fields next to great settlements, give me a loud, triumphant theme. And when you're exploring, like, a ruin, give me a more quiet, soft theme that goes with the mood of the area. The point I'm trying to make is that Nintendo has the foundation for great Zelda music to come, and I personally cannot wait to see what the Zelda team has in store. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this discussion video. I understand that it was a little short, but it's been something that's been on my mind for a while and I really wanted to talk about it. What do you guys think? Should Nintendo go back to the old way of doing music or Breath of the Wild's way or do a mix of both? Let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. I'm Mess Penguin and I'll see you later.